Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to make a very simple script to add a random ID for Google Form. So to get started, we need to create a, a form first. I'm going to name it uh, Auto ID Form. Okay. Just there are some questions here. Your name. Okay, just one. I think one is enough. And uh, I need to create a spreadsheet and connect the spreadsheet with this Google Form. Create it. So now I have a, a form and a spreadsheet here. They are connected. So I'm going to test it. I'm going to submit the first response. OK. Refresh. Okay, uh, this is the first response, and uh, what I want to do, I want to add an ID here in column C, and uh, this column, this ID will be added automatically one, uh, every time a, a, a user submit a request. Okay, so first time to go to script editor. So the first thing I need to create a function to to generate a ra random number. So I get a random integer number. Okay. I have a mixed number and a max number. I'm going to return mass for mass random max minus plus one I hope I didn't uh, make this wrong we can test it later I'm gonna call it auto ID form and then and I need to make another function to create a new ID. So new ID. Var random number. Get random number. Max is uh, minimize one, and uh, the max I think is nine 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 nine. Have a five digit. I think five digit is enough. Okay. And uh, ID for ID equals to. I'm gonna have a prefix. I think I. No, not here. So I'm going to make a, a five-digit, a five-digit five lens ID. So I'm going to add some zeros. Four zeros is enough, and uh, add the random because this random is from one to nine 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 nine. So I only need to slice five digits from the right okay and uh, I'm gonna add a prefix to the ID so I'm gonna to call it ID new ID plus ID just have a very quick test to make sure everything is set up correctly
Come wrong with this new ID. New ID. I have to return this ID. Test. Okay, so fifth digit. I got this. Uh, got this ID. So I think everything looks good. I'm gonna to. So I'm planning to 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 put these IDs in my script properties. So I, I use this to add a database. So every time I have a new ID, I need to check if this ID is already exist in this script editor, uh, not in, uh, in these properties, in the script properties. So that's what I'm going to do. So maybe another function called to uh, create ID. for scripts proper properties uh, I will have a property properties service I think this is an API to access the script editor you also can use the user properties I think it's the same stuff similar stuff and all the same okay I've got the keys for our keys. Script. Apple script. Properties. Okay. Keys. Okay. I get all the keys. So every time I I will and the ID UID will be new. ID so this is general ID this is a new ID I need to check this ID this ID is in these keys okay if keys index of UID uh, is greater or equal to zero that means this ID is already exist in this case so I'm, I'm going to generate a new one and else that means this UID is uh, acceptable so I'm going to add this, this ID to the keys not the keys to the properties. So set property with keys and values. Keys will the key will be the UID, right? And the value I like to put the time and date, the date at a time here. So I'm gonna call the new date. So I try to run this again to test if everything works good. I'm gonna run the test. Okay, date. I think I need to capitalize this. Run this again. Okay. So we are checked our property uh, property. So I get a, a ID and. Uh, I get the time. So I need to add the need a function to add this uh, this UID to the to column C, right? Function add UID. First thing I need to create a var UID equal to create ID. And I need to ref, refer, uh, reference the Google sheet. I need to for 
a spreadsheet to spreadsheet app get active worksheet spreadsheet get sheet by name I'm gonna name it uh, or ID okay so or ID I'm not sure if I have named it to this this column. Actually, I don't only need to name it. So every time, uh, every time you submit a a new request, the line will be added. The last uh, will be added. The last uh, empty row. So I will get the last cell on the. Uh, the right bottom corner, uh, corner right. So I'm not going to borrow the data worksheet get data range dot get, get values. So Var row number data lines. This is a row number and var column number to data data zero for lines. So this is a row number, this is a column number, so I'm going to as assign this value. So S three UID worksheet dot get range. Row row number in column number. I'm gonna set the value to UID. So let's try this this uh, function to see if this works. Gonna run, oh, not, not this test. Not this test. Gonna run the LUID. Run it. Hello. Let's see. And you find. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, print. Oh, I need to return. Actually, I need to return this uh, this ID. Return. Always oh, for <laughs> for kind of the return. Let's try this again. Try this again. Add. Let's hope this works this time. Okay, I got an ID, and uh, you also have this uh, ID here. So I'm going to clear this. And if, and if, uh, the last thing I think you need, you need to set this this function to a trigger. So every time, click this clock button. And uh, select the function add UID, and the event will be I think from spreadsheet. So this event, so on from submit. So every time a request was submitted from the form, so this function will be triggered. So that's why we call it name is trigger. Okay, I think everything is set up. Uh, so let's try to submit a new a response. Your name, Neko, my name. Submit it. So let's check this out. Okay, 
So your ID, your new ID. So another one. Neko one hundred. So every time you will get an ID after you submit a, a response, a request. Okay, I think that's that's it for today's uh, sharing session. Uh, see you next time. Bye, guys.